हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू डी होप आप सभी का प्रिपरेशन बहुत अच्छे से चल रहे हैं तो हम कंटिन्यू कर रहे हैं हमारे प्रिलिम्स रिवीजन सीरीज के साथ दिस इज पार्ट 31 वन होप यू इन द फर्स्ट 30 पार्ट्स सो वी आर ट्राइंग टू मेक शॉर्ट वीडियोस फॉर योर कन्वीनियंस सो यू विल बी एबल टू रिवाइज द वीडियोज कंटिन्यूसली वेन एन वेर पॉसिबल सो ऑल्सो मेक श्योर दैट यू मेक शॉर्ट नोट्स फॉर योर सेल्फ सो वेन यू मेक शॉर्ट नोट्स दैट विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल it will become very handy during your last leg of preparation remember it will be very helpful so just trust the process and just you know continue working hard because as you know the competition is going to be very high and make sure you work very hard for that okay so gear gear up so the last leg of preparation make sure you make the best use of the time available and we are going to bring up some more current affairs videos for you all so make sure you make the best use of these things also so just comment and let us know if you want anything more and also do subscribe to our channel okay so in this lecture we are continuing with the science and technology to yahan pe hum kya cover kar rahe hain yahan pe hum cover kar rahe hain national teleconsultation center ke bare mein after that hum dekhte hain kerala's ban on cfl and filament bulbs so next what is goal goal ke bare mein dekhte hain after that we will talk about the cyber crime coordination center आफ्टर दैट इंटीग्रेटेड रोड एक्सीडेंट डेटाबेस के बारे में बात करते हैं युवा विज्ञान कार्यक्रम के बारे में बात करते हैं ई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इनिशिएटिव के बारे में बात करते हैं आफ्टर दैट हम देखते हैं नेशनल कैंसर टिश्यू बायो बैंक इंडियन ब्रेन एटलस इंटरनेट साथी एंड डिजिटल पेमेंट अभियान सब कुछ चीज़ों के बारे में हम कवर करते हैं तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं फर्स्ट नेशनल टेली कंसल्टेशन सेंटर कॉन्टेक्ट टू दिस वॉज इन यूज वॉट इज दिस इट इज लॉन्च बाई द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर and it has launched this the national telecommunication center this is for the covid-19 information so this is the covid-19 national teleconsultation center so contact is nothing but the covid-19 national telecommunication center remember covid-19 national telecommunication center and this has been conceptualized by the ministry of health and family welfare and it is implemented by all india institute of medical sciences aims aims delhi is implementing this so mainly this is to disseminate information to the people okay that is the main objective of this next one kerala's ban on cfl and filament bulbs from november 2020 so from november 2020 that is from this year kerala is you know putting a complete ban on cfl and filament bulbs so these are the old generation bulbs so kerala wants to phase out these bulbs and they want to introduce the new new led bulbs because the cfl and filament bulbs they consumes lot of energy so they are not energy efficient they consumes lot of energy so with the usage of led bulbs with the introduction of led bulbs what we can do is we can we can increase the energy efficiency we can in fact reduce the energy consumed by all the households by introducing the led bulbs so the government is also providing the led bulbs and the led lights at a discounted price to all the people okay so the kerala will impose ban on the compact fluorescent lamps cfl ka full form hai compact fluorescent lamps remember this this is important and the incandescent filament bulbs so what is cfl compact fluorescent lamps you have to remember this in the in line of this uh, so this is part of the kerala government's urja kerala mission urja kerala mission it's a filament free kerala initiative okay so last year uh, pelicode in kasurgad district has become the first panchayat in the in the country to completely free of a filament bulb filament and cfl bulb okay so remember this pelicode in kasurgad district of kerala next one goal goal was in news what is goal going online as leaders so you know these things what is goal this short acronyms we will not be able to make out what is this actually so g going online as leaders so going online g o going online you have to remember these acronyms like that so it is a facebook program aimed at guiding and encouraging tribal girls from across india to become village level digital young leaders so remember goal going online as leaders it's a facebook program program by facebook to guide and encourage tribal girls across the country because, you know to make sure that they have the e education or you can say to make them e literate e literate okay so so e literate is nothing but the education with regarding to the computer and other technologies so this will help to close the digital gender gap so as we know the digital gap is very high in india so we have to make sure that through various you know measures we reduce the digital gap that we have 
and also next one the cyber crime coordination center the cyber crime coordination center i4c it is called it was recently inaugurated by the government of india so i4c is indian cyber crime coordination center this will be under the newly created cyber and information security division under the ministry of home affairs so uh, as you know cyber security is the key is very important for us in this uh, next generation in this new world in this new world where cyber technology has taken over the world in fact the aim of this cyber crime coordination center is to deal with all types of cyber crimes in a comprehensive and coordinated manner comprehensive and coordinated, ma coordinated manner the aim is to deal with all type of cyber crimes so that is the indian cyber crime coordination center it will assist the centralized cyber security investigations okay so we have another center called the cert in cyber emergency response team this will be the first responder to any to all the cyber attacks you know this is under the so this is under the, this is a this is under a, this is a statutory body okay next one integrated road accident database so this is launched by indian institute of technology madras iit madras has launched this and this will be implemented by the national informatics center okay nic and it is supported by world bank okay it is supported by world bank so irad indian road accident database the mobile application it will enable police personnel to enter details about a road accident okay so irad indian road accident database this is to create a database across the country with regarding to the accidents that are taking place or the, or the day to day act, day to day accidents that happens a lot so this by this what we can have is we can have a real time information regarding what exactly is happening in the country okay so this will be implemented by nic and this is developed by iid madras okay this is supported by world bank next one yuva vigyana karyakramam so yuva vigyana karyakram who launched this this is launched by isro indian space research organization it's a special program so why this is special because this is for the training of school children training of school children to make sure that they develop interest in the space related activities because space technology is the next generation thing because everything that we are doing today the internet or various other things that we are able to do today is because of the satellite technology the television the telecommunication all the things is because of the satellite technology so the util so you can say that the importance of the satellite technology has been increasing and it will increase further okay the main aim of this program is imparting basic knowledge on space technology space science and space application to the younger ones and the who are the participants it is proposed that three students from each state and union territory will be selected okay and they will be participating in this program which covers various syllabus the cbsc icsc and the state syllabus generally these students are from class 9 next one e2020 initiative and also this is also important initiative why because if we see generally e2020 we will think it is related to cyberspace or something because of the e here but the e20 is not like e2020 is not such an initiative it is an initiative of the who who why this was launched this was launched to eradicate various diseases like malaria and others so these are the so this is the e2020 initiative so four countries from asia china iran malaysia and timor leste and one from central america el salvador they reported no indigenous cases of malaria in 2018 so recently we have seen even sri lanka has become malaria free sri lanka has become malaria free okay so uh, the countries are part of the global health body e2020 initiative so this is to ensure that even lot of countries lot of other countries also will follow these countries and eradicate malaria in their countries so e2020 initiative is for the eradication of malaria and make sure you remember these things it is launched by who okay so because if uh, because e e generally is for electronic things and all so that's why this is important for you to remember next one national cancer tissue blood bank so the national cancer tissue blood bank is a joint initiative of the department of science and technology government of india indian indian institute of madras okay national it's a joint initiative it collects cancer tissue samples with a consent from patients diagnosed with cancer it aims to provide research with high quality of cancer tissues and this research carried out through the technique of genome sequencing so the cancer tissue biobank is uh, to collect the tissues the cancer tissues of uh, the people who are suffering from cancer so in order to provide the the various real time tissues to the researchers so that they will be able to have the real time data and the real time information and they will be able to perform very good. they will be able to do new good things new things that will help them in their research 
next one indian brain atlas so the indian brain atlas is created by the iit hyderabad triple uh, it hyderabad sorry so triple it hyderabad is created this it is named as iba 100 indian brain atlas 100 okay so other brain atlases are there in the world okay? the chinese korean and caucasian all of these things are there but this is the first of india's it's monetary neurological institute created by the first one is created by this and this study will help in early diagnosis of diseases like alzheimer's okay so this brain atlas is nothing but mapping the brain so you while mapping the brain what will happen is that they will be able to understand what exactly the changes so they know how the brain was original and after that they will also know the changes that are taking place so with that they will be able to compare and they will be, they will be able to trace the changes that are happening because of various diseases like alzheimer's and all okay so this will help in that research next one internet sati so the internet sati is a joint initiative of google india and tata trust so internet sati is a joint initiative of google india and tata trust this is to expand digital literacy program for rural women in punjab and odisha so internet sati joint initiative of google india and tata trust for the women in punjab and odisha it is used, it is to train sati's in villages that can in turn help educate other women so a woman each and so like let's say one woman from every village is is taught and that woman they will go and help other women in their village okay next one digital payment abhyan the digital payment abhyan is launched by the nascom's data security council of india with the collaboration of union minister of electronics and it and google india so for the cam this campaign it aims at increasing awareness about the cashless payment and you also educate the end users on the benefits of making digital payments how digital payments is more beneficial and all okay so next one so now let's revise the important things that we have studied till now first we have seen the national teleconsultation center contact coronavirus national teleconsultation center okay so this was uh, launched by the minister of health and family welfare and it is implemented by aims the all india institute of medical sciences delhi next one the cfl and film and bulbs are banned by kerala from november 2020 next one goal goal is going online as leaders this is the initiative of facebook it is aimed at guiding and encouraging the tribal girls from across the country to become village level digital young leaders this will help to close the digital gender gap okay next one cybercrime coordination center this is inaugurated recently it is under the newly created cyber and information security division of the minister of home affairs it aims to deal with all types of cyber crimes cyber crime coordination center i4c next one we have seen the about the integrated road accident database which is launched by iit madras this will be implemented by national informatics center and supported by world bank so this will give real time information about the accidents and all okay Next one, Yovo Vijnana Karikram is uh, launched by ISRO Indian Space Research Organization. It's a special program for the school children, which is aimed at imparting the basic knowledge and regard, regarding to the space technologies and all. Okay, this is uh, two for the school kids, school children. Next, E2020 initiative. E2020 initiative is WHO's initiative to eradicate malaria. Okay, remember that. Next one, National Cancer Tissue Blood Bank launched is a joint initiative of uh, Department of Science and Technology, Government of India and IIT Madras to collect, it is mainly to collect the sample tissues of uh, with the patients, of the patients suffering from cancer and this will help the researchers in developing, you know, new treatments or uh, in conducting new research with regard to cancer. The technique used will be used is genome sequencing. Next one, Indian Brain Atlas. The Brain Atlas is created by Triple T Hyderabad and it is named IBA 100. Okay. Next one, Internet Sati. Internet Sati is a program of Google India and Tata Trust to expand the digital literacy programs. It is launched in Punjab and Odisha. It is to train the Satis. Next one, Digital Payment Abhyan. Digital Payment Abhyan is a program of uh, NASCOM's uh, Data, uh, Data Security Council of India and uh, in the collaboration of Union Minister of Electronics and IT and Google India to create awareness about the cashless payments. Okay, so that's it friends in this lecture. I'll see you again in the next lecture. Till then, keep studying and stay tuned. Jai Hind.